Handicapped Persons Association says funds allocated for the disabled in the budget is lower than the full arrangements made for non manipuri officials visiting the state during Sangai Festival. All Tribal Students Union of Manipur sets a 48-hour ultimatum demands 31% reservations for the scheduled tribe students. And Speaker Yumnam Kim Chan appeals people to elect MLAs who understand the issues facing the state. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Tangjim bringing you the top stories. President of All Manipur Handicapped Persons Welfare Association, Tongbram Romeo, had stated that the funds allocated by the state government for the disabled in the budget is lower than the food arrangements made for non-Manipuri officials visiting the state during Sangai Festival. He was speaking at the awareness program held under the theme empowering towards disabled at Maitai Christian Church, Patsui Lamkai today. Romeo further said the support of the public and the government is a must for the welfare of the disabled. However, what the government has done for the disabled is for namesake. A minimal budget is allocated for the approximately 53,000 disabled persons in the state while the government spends in terms of crores for the food arrangements at Sangai Festival for non-Manipuri officials. MLAs and ministers had been brought up the issue of funds for the disabled in the assembly session. However, none of them had asked for an increase in the allocated budget. Romeo urged disabled persons of the state to not be discouraged by the act of the government. He appealed to work hard to live independently. Romeo also urged the parents to bring out their talented disabled children and showcase it to the world. <laughs> ハッピーバケシャドゴマナブラハイシイアイアブジャブシンダフェネジディスアブルシンディディシンラミフュダニパンカハッピーディカナゴモオネバディデリアムタナヤミハイナプタンガンダキダバドナタクディエシェブリリ
Union of Social Development, popularly known as 10 Union, observed its 36th Foundation Day at Kurai Lamlong Bazaar today. Speaking at the event, Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Yumnam Kimchan, reiterated that the 60 MLAs of the state have a big responsibility in resolving various issues facing the state and appealed the people to elect MLAs who understand the issues facing the state. He further said, Speaker of the Assembly decides the true interpretation of the democracy. However, issues facing the state is under the responsibility of the MLAs. He said the MLAs should keep national building as a basis to protect the state's interests. On the other hand, many self-styled emerging leaders in the state should keep aside differences and focus on the state's benefits. Sekmai MLA, Haikam Dingo, social scientist Dr. Dhanabir Lystrom, cultural activist Ningtaucha Lancha, corporator of IMC Ward No. 23, Laushambam Romola, President of Union of Social Affliptment, Taudam, Rohini Kumar, people from the area and many students took part in the event. Successful candidates in the MPAC exam, renowned artists and individuals representing the state in the international level for bodybuilding, art and culture, students securing above 70% in class 10 and 12 exams conducted by CBAC and Manipur Board 2017 in Imphal East District were also felicitated at the event. Free LPG connections were distributed to eight in households for Yai School Assembly constituency under the Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana today. This is the third phase of the distribution for the constituency. MLA Tiet Satya Bertha distributed the LPG connections to these eight in households under Ward number 20. Speaking on the occasion, Satya Bertha asserted that efforts will be made to research the needy in the constituency to provide the benefit which is meant for the poverty stricken family. Hundred schemes have been announced for the women and children of the country under the leadership of the Prime Minister. The MLA said 17 schemes from these 100 have been chosen to suit the local condition. He appealed the public to cooperate in taking advantage of the central schemes. Council of Ward Number 20, El Tombi, Member of Ward Number 1, A. Bobby, and Member of Ward Number 2, K. Sarad were among those present on the occasion held at Laishram Yumjao Lairinbi Community Hall in Wangkai Laishram Laikai. Hitting back on the claims made by former Wangai MLA Salam Choi yesterday that the people of Wangwe Assembly constituency have not received NFSA rise. Wangoi MLA Oinam Lukoi maintained that it is a known issue and that the matter has reached the floor of the assembly. While passing a sarcastic comment, the MLA said, if Salam Joy wants to know details, he will appoint him as a fair price agent. The MLA was speaking at the sidelines of distribution of free gas connection to 24 beneficiaries at Lai Shang Kong under Wangoi Assembly constituency under the Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana today. Lukoi further said it would have been better if the people approach him first rather than going all out to malign his character in the media. Issue of NFSA rises not only in Wangoi but across the state. He said his door is wide open for discussions on any issues facing the constituency. The MLA maintained that he is ready for introspection on the rice issue and that the MLA Local Area Development Fund can be utilized for the rice. On the other hand, the MLA said 24 beneficiaries have been chosen for the free gas connection under the Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana by looking at the socio-economic census report under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Oinam Lukoi asserted that he will work towards making these schemes available further in the constituency. Nesren put security, Egna Sale group, same Kreka guy. Sale group, same book, and a simple security, Ega Karimilian. Makanano has him a hot tongue, Hebene, Magimatam the Tatarani, Twitching, 
ปีกตบถาวปีกตบจีนีปีกตบมะตําดอถาตรุถาตะเรนะนิชะฮีชาบิสไฮเวเอ็กซ์เอมเอลีชรีฉลามจอยประจานคาเรมะชะฟะจะ
Legal Aid Clinic, Manipur State Commission for Women in Fall West under the ages of Manipur State Legal Service Authority organized a one-day legal awareness program at Langol Maitai Seva Madhub Community Hall, Type 2, yesterday. Chairperson of MSCW, Dr. K. Sobita, was the chief guest at the event. Resource Persons pan Panel Advocate, P.H. Binodini Devi, and Senior Advocate, Thokchom Prem Lata, discussed about domestic violence and labor cut in at the event. More than 100 persons attended the program. A night QRAT team has arrested a person who was trying to steal from Churachandpur New Bazaar. The arrested person is identified as a 29-year-old Kolyer Kupanlian Valte, son of late Lal Chung, a resident of Churachandpur headquarter, Wang. He was arrested early this morning around 4 when he was trying to steal things. Kupanlian, a drug addict, is also responsible for stealing in the past. The Forest and Environment Department has issued a notification ordering complete ban on the use of plastic carry bags of less than 50 microns in thickness in Kangpopi district with immediate effect. Time for a small commercial break. We'll be back with more news updates. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the break and you're watching Prime Time English News. The Manipur Agricultural Produce and Livestock Marketing Promotion and Felicitation Bill 2017 has been uploaded in the web portal www.agrimanipur.gov.in of Agriculture Department. Public comments or suggestions regarding the bill can be sent to amdmn at the rate nic.n within September 3, 2017. Annual general body meeting of Manipur Judo Association with election agenda was held at the residence of Dr. K. S. Ratan Kumar at Babupara yesterday. Dr. K. S. Ratan Kumar, S. Indra Kumar and A. Sachi Kumar have been appointed as President, Secretary and Treasurer of the Association respectively. Candidate of Hyrog Assembly constituency in the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly elections, Ning Thaujam Ditin, has joined the Northeast India Development Party, NEIDP. He had fought the election on Nationalist Congress Party and CP ticket. NEIDP felicitated him today. Speaking on the occasion, Vice President of NEIDP, Sapam Kunjikeso, maintained that the party, which had a strength of 5,000 members during elections, has now about 30,000 members in the short span of time. The party will win big in the upcoming Zilla Parishad Pradhan and member elections. He appealed the people of Manipur to take part in the steps taken by NEIDP for a changed Manipur. A one-day legal awareness program under the theme Cybercrime Against Women and Children Public police relationship as a part of community policing was held at Nimai Chan and Kaina High School, Thaubal Wangmataba College, wrote today. Sarjubala Handloom and Handicraft Cooperative Society, Kiam Sifai District Legal Aid Society, Thaubal and Thaubal Police jointly organized the event. District and Session Judge Thaubal Salam Imocha educated the students about a law. Former General Secretary of All Manipur Bar Association B. Supriya and O.C. Thaubal Police B. Rishike Sharma were among those present at the event. A one-day awareness program of labor unions was held today under the ages of labor and employment department. The program was organized by Manipur Buildings and other construction workers, Welfare Board and BCWB at the Kuryangani Hall in Lamphal, DC complex. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman of MBCWB Sanglakpam Presyojit said, educational financial assistance for the year 2013, 2014 and 2015-2016 will be provided to the labors. Steps are being taken to form a federation for the labor unions in all 60 assembly constituencies of the state. State government has requested to provide funds for the construction of building for the federation. Prasyojit said awareness programs will be held for the all 60 assembly constituency from next month. He also said there are 25 acts under the Labour Department and these will be explained to Labour Unions in detail. Department 
official singa pullaga awareness program to hai ba thang tha da gi pang thok pa ho gi are labor se hana ke ke nu dugi concern union sina labor asembo oire building and other construction workers asembo oire and an identify to ro matunda madu gi moina verify to re have gi report yo matunda officer submit to ro matunda card sabu gi process ho guni Institute of Driver Training and Research Center IDTRC organized a one-day road safety awareness program for students of Ramlalpol Higher Secondary School, Kaishampong, today. Superintendent of Police Traffic Control Wing, Imphal City, Koshnam Sharma, MPS, Joint Director, Kam OSD Transport, BK Sharma, and Principal of Ramlalpol Higher Secondary School, A. Rajmata, spoke on traffic rules on the occasion. Old Manipur Students' Union AMSO observed its 52nd Foundation Day at the Union's office on DM College campus today. Vice President of AMSO, Lajram Peter, unfurled the Union's flag to mark the observation. A two-minute silence was also observed as a mark of respect to the martyrs who sacrificed their lives for the state. Speakers on the occasion highlighted the history of the Union, Manipur's famine of 1965 and various other tasks undertaken up by the Students' Union for Students. A blood donation camp was also held on the occasion. Around 100 students donated blood. NRL Energy Station Thaubal under the supervision of CMO Thaubal organized a medical camp at the campus of NRL Energy Station Thaubal today. It is in line with the steps taken up by Bharat Petroleum Product Corporation Limited to keep people safe on the roads. Two medical officers under CMO Thaubal and four medical staff perform BP and sugar tests at the camp. About 150 persons took benefits of the camp. Proprietor of NRL Energy Station Thaubal, Y. Joy Kumar said, the camp was organized mainly to keep people healthy on the road. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Handicapped Persons Association says funds allocated for the disabled in the budget is lower than the food arrangements made for non manipuris officials visiting the state during Sangai Festival. All Tribal Students Union of Manipur sets a 48-hour ultimatum, demands 31% reservations for the scheduled tribe students. Speaker Yumnam Kemchan appeals people to elect MLAs who understand their issues facing. 